guys, I'm Thea. And I'm Sorik. And we're here on the Exodus server in the Lavender Beds again. Yeah, we're in. The, we're on Exodus for the first time. Uh, we've been invited by Papa Smurf to check out his private uh, residence. It's a medium. Yeah. Quad 11, 8th Ward. I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> yeah, that's... Wow, it's, it's actually, so far, very green. Very themed for the lavender beds. I like it. Yeah, he's got the uh, he's got the Leviathan Fountain over here with the pond and the what a lot of people like to do is put the Aetherite in the pond, but I really like how he's lighting up these lotus uh, plants, these lotus parasols with the living Sahagan Living Lantern. Yeah, it makes it less dark when you're underneath the leaves. Yeah, and it's also a great canopy. Uh, he's got the, his striking dummy built into the Cold Knight's fire. And a couple of cannons pointing out for unwelcome guests. Cool yard, Papa. Yeah, it's a nice yard. I should say cool yard, Big Papa. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a medium house, and oh, there's Big Papa. Hi. What a cool space. I like it. So you see what he's done here? He's used the uh, the planter partitions to cordon off the main floor with pillars on both sides to give that, that sense of depth. Exactly. Lots of carbuncle everywhere. Lalafells love carbuncles. I like We've the got, wallpaper chosen too. Yeah, he's got a, a sitting area here. He's got two of his uh, plush toys up on a shelf with a small little Lalafell here, uh, some sort of an NPC. So little. Mm -hmm. And then we've got even carbuncles hanging out here in the house. We've got uh, carbuncle chairs. Yeah. He, he does do a lot of trophies in the house, I'm starting to see. I like that. Yeah, more carbuncle stuff. Let's head upstairs. He's got a little table to register. I'm going to sign my name here. So cute. <laughs> yeah. So uh, head upstairs and see. Oh, so we've got Nanamo's portrait. Oh. It's a nice little uh, look at what he's done with the partitions here. I like the way he did his partition for the upstairs. Yeah. So Nanamo and Kanisena here with a little little greeting area, the Marlboro thing. I'm, there's a lot of Marlboro in there. I'm a little scared to go Ooh, in here. Ooh, Marlboro theme. Nice. Yeah, there's Marlboro rugs everywhere with the Marlboro bookshelf and the stools. I like Let's that. see what's behind this door. Hey! Aww. How did he sneak up here? <laughs> so we've got a little study. It's Books really piled nice up study. everywhere. And look at how he takes the, the, the bookshelves and creates sort of a, an angled wall because the partitions behind it don't bend that way. He rounds the room out. Really nice. Again, carbuncle everywhere. Big carbuncle fan. Love the carbuncle rug. There's, uh, he's getting a lot of pluses from you. <laughs> so, wait, now this is weird. I, I feel like the room should end here. The partition make it look so big. Wow. It's so really well done with the partitions. He's melding both of the Garuda couches into Nymea's fountain. I love that. He's got a couple of the. Uh, That's different. Of the wall hangings, the Sylphic wall hangings, to give more of the green look, and against again the the carbuncle theme continuing here with the uh, with the armor yeah Let's scoot down to the basement i really like this house a lot of colors really 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 well done and placed great design oh a little scary <laughs> coming down here got a gargoyle nothing in the little downstairs dead zone we got oh we've got a nice little altar set up here with some melding we've seen this done before i think we saw this on zalera I in think their so. basement just before you got to their strip club yeah yeah so we've got, oh, yeah, this is what I call the W bar. You don't see it often well done like this. Um, nice. Yeah, you can you can really take advantage of a corner by having two of because the L-shaped bars, they only bend in one direction. True. So you can't take one and flip it the other way to try to make a, a counter. Mm -hmm. So the W is one way to do that. And then, uh, oh, we got a hot tub. Oh, what's a house without a hot tub? It's not complete. Yeah, a house without a hot tub is not complete. And what could be hidden back here? Oh. Nice. Little Lalafell shower hidden in the back. Perfectly sized for a Lalafell. Yeah. And a couple more trophies on the walls down here. Very well filled out. He fills vertically very well. Nice house. I like his house a lot. Oh, look at this. Aww. He's built a little Lalafell sized, sized stage using the, uh, the tables, the Oasis dining tables, and the knight's desk. Yeah centered directly under the ADS light with all three of the Grand Company banners, and he's dancing away on there. The perfect fit for a Lala. Yeah, you could fit uh, a whole ensemble of them up there. <laughs> it's fantastic. Papa Smurf, thanks for the invite. Thanks for being a subscriber. I'm Thea. And I'm Sorik. 
Bye. Don't forget to hit that like button to share this video with the world, and don't forget to subscribe to get more Sorak Rise of videos on your feed. See ya.